And then there is a fight going on between parents and Round Rock ISD school leaders over a proposed plan to rezone hundreds of students to a different neighborhood school next year. The change is not set in stone just yet. In fact, school leaders plan to discuss the issue for the first time at their board meeting tonight. Gigi Barnett is here in studio with exactly what the district wants to do and also why parents are so upset about this. Yeah, these parents say they bought their homes in the Round Rock district to attend one particular school and now someone is telling them that that may not happen. So they are clearly upset, but this is all focused around two elementary schools and one middle school. Here's a look at the map for you. Some elementary students from Blackland Prairie and Forest Creek elementaries will head farther west to attend Hernandez Middle School. That's according to the district's pending plan. Right now, they're zoned for Ridgeview Middle, and that's where the parents want them to stay. But the school board says it studied this move and came up with several reasons for this rezoning. They include safety of students, vertical alignment, which is the feeder pattern. The board says Ridgeview right now is overcrowded and its feeder pattern has to change. There's also demographic balance on the list, which is more diversity. And then there's hazardous routes, which could mean that the road students are walking to and from school are dangerous. But parents say their kids aren't familiar with the teachers and staff at Hernandez, and they aren't buying this whole plan of rezoning. Well, the school board says this is just the beginning in a very lengthy process. Plus, parents will see overcrowding drop dramatically, but the district plans to host three public hearings, and that is when they're encouraging parents to speak up. We understand when parent, we understand that um, a parent's right and a parent's school is a huge is a huge question and a huge part of their family. So we have a, a hard understanding of what that means. So what we're trying to do is have a baseline to start and then collect the community feedback and create the best plan for kids. Off on these changes and after those three public hearings, the board will make a final vote in November and the rezoning won't take place until next school year. But parents want to stop it right now. So they are circulating a petition for 1000 names. At last check, that petition had more than 600 backers. If you'd like to go to the board meeting tonight, they're going to take up this issue for the very first time at Round Rock High School starting at 7 p.m.